we just were saying, you know, we got to be aggressive. You know, they guards always try to, you know, reach in and do all of this and that, you know. And me at the two, I got to protect the ball more. You know, I kind of started off a little slow, but then I started handling the ball. I made plays for other people and myself. How did you withstand that uh, sloppy start? You guys were turning it over. They are hitting every shot, and uh, you came back. Well, you know, we just play together, you know, after that. You know, that's going to happen. Villanova is a team, you know, they like to reach in and get a lot of scrappy fouls, whatever. But we can contain our composure, and we just kept playing. Was that an adjustment on your part to got, to realize you got to play stronger with the ball? And it looks like you and Johnny took care of business the rest of the way. Yeah, you know, that's it's kind of different. You know, I moved to the two, so I handled the ball a lot more. And I made a couple sloppy turnovers early, but, you know, I held my own, and I think I had a pretty good game. Have you guys uh, progressed to the point where the press or a tenacious defense like that now becomes a positive you can take advantage of? Yeah, you know, in practice, you know, now our second team always presses us, presses us every day. You know, work on it all the time, pressure. And me and Johnny Flynn, you know, we be holding our own with our our team, you know, and scoop Johnny in too. Can you continue to practice that way? I mean, there aren't enough bodies to, to go at it too hard in practice. It's crazy, man. It's like guys dropping like flies, man. Yeah. But, you know, we just got to. Just stay with it, you know. This this is this basketball, you know. This stuff's gonna happen in, in life. You know, you're gonna go through things, but you just gotta get over them. Yeah, obviously, you played a career game today, but you're not the only one. And Kristoff had a big game. How much are you guys coming together, in spite of uh, really kind of the, some of the struggles you've had? Well, you know, everybody noticed. You know, that this is what we got. You know, in the <laughs> beginning of the season, I think we probably had about 14, 15 guys. We didn't lost about five or six of them. But I think Coach always tell us every day, he tell us a story. You know, this, we still have a strong team. You know, Dante Green, great player, Johnny Flynn. We got good role players, myself, Kristoff. We just go out and just play hard and play our role. Now you got to go back and gear it up for UConn. Yeah, I thought it was South Florida. It is UConn. <laughs> man, these games come by fast, man. <laughs> but, yeah, we got to get ready for UConn. Actually, watch film on them. That's going to be a tough one. But hopefully our fans, we, I know for a fact, they'll be the supporters, and we'll be ready for them too. That, that's that's the biggest thing I could see in in that you know they were so worried about a Renzi on a block it was just open up driving lanes for everybody you see a, my first three baskets I drove to the lane and the big man wouldn't even step up because he's so you know worried about me dropping it off to a Renzi and, and just going back to the foul trouble thing you know uh, Scotty Brown was getting the two quick fouls it kind of took him out of his rhythm for the game you see his shots was a little off here and there so that was really working well for us. How much is that going to be a constant battle for this team for the rest of the season with? You guys are short on uh, that, that's that's real big for us. So we we gotta c keep everybody healthy and you know keep everybody out of foul trouble. You know we only playing six seven guys, so you know you gotta know when to step in and take a charge, or we you know when to let somebody just get a two points that they need. I'm surprised how many SU fans were in the stadium yeah, today. I, mean, I was looking before the game. I'm like, what, where the no fans at? Then you know they started coming in. Then you see the whole upper tier is all SU. So uh, you know that's why I was talking to Pete Moore today. I was like, we just have fans everywhere. <laughs> Right, Johnny, you guys were able to uh, maybe not play your best right out the gate there, but you mentioned Reynolds got into foul trouble, and it seemed like it's the kind of game you thrived on after that. Definitely. You know, when you have one of the best players in the Big East, you know, uh, on, on the bench early, that, that's always going to give you a confidence boost, you know, to go out there and make that run. Uh, when big players like that, big-time players like that get on the bench, that's when you want to go and, and make your runs that we went on, and we went on a big run. Is it accurate to say you guys haven't really changed your style that much given your attrition of numbers because you got the, you got the pedal to the metal most of the game? You know, that's that's the way we want to play. You know, we, you can see we're not a slowdown team. Every time, you know, we get into slowdown situations, we really don't play good. So we always want to keep the pace going. We want to force turnovers so we can get fast break points. But that's the main thing with us. We want to just get out on a break. You've seen Paul Harris play as much or more than any of us. What do you think? Man, he's, he's an animal, you know. This is If we got Paul playing like this all the time, I don't see us losing uh, a lot of games uh, coming up, you know. Uh, when he starts shooting jump shots and getting out of, you know, the way he plays his game, you know, it kind of hurts us a little bit. But today you see him going on the block with the mismatch and just getting much needed buckets that we need. Yeah, well, what's it mean now to win two on the road in this league, even in spite of uh, the difficulty you face, and how much confidence do you have going back against UConn? You know, that's big. Whenever you can win games on the road, you see how tough it was for us, you know, in the beginning of Big East, we get two bad losses, you know, where we didn't play well at all. So, you know, we follow this up with two two more good world wins, and it's just a snowball effect, you know. We just, our confidence is through the roof. You know, we're kind of on cloud nine right now. All right, with Christoph Ungenaut is the, you could say, career high 12 points today as the Orange knock off Villanova on the road. And, uh, Christoph, how rewarding are these road wins for you guys? Uh, I think it's great, uh, especially after last 
uh, road game. We got the confidence and the hope to get our road games, and, and, and we knew we can do it with the six or seven players, and, and it's really important that we play as a team. But uh, especially after the last game, we knew we can do it, and, and we did it. You're far from the leading scorer on this team, but you seem to have a knack for coming up with key shots when you need them. And did that shot clock running down force your hand there because you've been pretty hesitant on a long-range shot? Yeah, um, it hasn't been working out the last couple of games were actually the season for yeah. three-pointers, but it doesn't really matter. Um, obviously, it gave me more confidence now. I was more, I was more under pressure right now, and, and I had to shoot it, so I didn't really have a choice to think about it. Um, it hasn't been going in lately, but it doesn't matter. I keep working on practice, and I'll keep doing it while I'm open. How about the art of the reverse layup? Seems like you got that down, too. Yeah, I think I'm... Uh, getting used to the fact that uh, I'm, I'm going to be open and more in the basket when I'm moving. Um, the last couple of years in junior college, I've been doing it and, and working, finishing with my left hand all the time. So I forgot about it a little bit, but, um, yeah, I can still do it. All right, well, congrats on uh, career high and uh, best of luck. Thanks a lot.